In September 2025, a comet from another star entered our solar system. But when scientists fed its data into Google's quantum AI, the results broke every rule we thought we knew. No water, no iron, and movement that defied gravity. Three AI Atlas isn't just strange, and it's impossible. For the first time in history, an artificial intelligence didn't just observe the universe. It predicted something no telescope ever could. And what it found sent shockwaves through astrophysics. What is this thing? Where did it come from? And what if it wasn't alone? Stay with us and subscribe now so you don't miss future updates. What you're about to hear will change everything. The arrival of 3AI Atlas. On July 1st, 2025, an alert from the Atlas Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System Telescope triggered what would become one of the most unexpected astronomical scrambles in recent memory. The object in question, initially catalogued as X2025Q1 Atlas, was flagged for its hyperbolic trajectory, a mathematical signature indicating it was not gravitationally bound to the Sun. Within 72 hours, additional observatories confirmed what Atlas had detected. A third interstellar object had entered our solar system. It was officially designated 3EA, making it only the third confirmed object after 1I. Oumuamua in 2017 and Tuai Borisov in 2019 as it raced through space at approximately 50,000 MIP, 3AI was headed inbound toward perihelion. Its closest approach to the sun, scheduled for October 23, 2025, that left scientists with just 16 weeks to gather as much data as possible. Before it slingshotted back into interstellar space, the comet's trajectory was plotted with high precision, using the Minor Planet Center's orbital elements, which quickly confirmed its speed and angle of entry made a solar system origin impossible. This object wasn't just unusual. It was from somewhere far beyond the Kuiper Belt, the Oort Cloud, or even our nearest stellar neighbors. Within days, an international coalition of observatories mobilized. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, turned its near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, toward the object. Ground-based assets like Gemini North and PanStars in Hawaii provided optical and infrared follow-ups while radio telescopes tracked its thermal emissions. In total, over 12 petabytes of data would be collected over a span of just four months. The urgency was clear. Unlike repeat comets or planets, 3AI was a one-time visitor. Every observation window mattered. What made 3AI so compelling wasn't just its speed or origin. It was what happened when those terabytes of sensor data were processed, not through traditional models, but by an entirely new kind of computational intelligence. The results shattered expectations, forcing scientists to question fundamental assumptions about comet chemistry, formation, and trajectory. Something about 3AI was deeply wrong, or perhaps deeply different. As 3AI barreled toward the sun, its light and dust painted a rich canvas across multiple spectra. But even the most powerful telescopes could only see the surface, the visible, the immediate. To truly understand what was unfolding, researchers turned to something radically new, quantum artificial intelligence. For the first time, a machine would simulate not just what we saw, but every hidden possibility buried in the data. The next chapter of this story begins not with a telescope, but with Google's Sycamore quantum processor. Enter Quantum AI. In September 2025, researchers at NASA's Quantum Information Lab uploaded spectroscopic data from the James Webb Space Telescope into a custom simulation running on Google's Sycamore quantum processor. Within 11 minutes, the AI returned over 50,000 distinct outcomes, each modeling potential cometary behaviors. These weren't just rough guesses. They were high-resolution predictions accounting for gas dynamics, stellar radiation, magnetic fields, and compositional chemistry. Variables that would normally take classical supercomputers weeks or months to process individually. Quantum simulation works differently. Instead of computing one outcome at a time, systems like Sycamore process superpositions, running all possible paths in parallel. In layman's terms, imagine calculating every ripple in a pond caused by tossing 1,000 stones from different angles simultaneously. That's what quantum AI does with cometary behavior. When it simulated 3AI, it wasn't asking, what is this object doing now? It was asking, what could it possibly be doing and which versions of reality match the incoming data best? 
the early results raised eyebrows. Certain patterns, especially in the CO2 emission curves, didn't fit any known comet template. Instead of matching the behavior of solar system bodies like Comet Hale-Bopp or 2i Borisov, the output revealed inconsistencies. Most strikingly, the model predicted that water vapor, typically dominant in comet outgassing, would play a minimal role in 3AI Atlas. Instead, carbon dioxide emissions were forecast to dominate by a factor of more than 8 to 1. That wasn't just a surprise, it was a fundamental shift in our assumptions about cometry evolution. Even more unsettling, the AI didn't treat this as an outlier. It treated it as a rule for this object. Across tens of thousands of simulations, the same CO2 dominant profile kept appearing. The odds of this being random error or observational bias were calculated to be less than 0.001%. In other words, 3AI Atlas wasn't behaving weirdly. It was behaving consistently, just not in a way any astronomer had seen before. What if the chemistry of 3AI Atlas isn't just rare but entirely alien? The quantum AI's first anomaly pointed to a CO2-rich composition formed in conditions our sun never offered. But that wasn't the only surprise Sycamore revealed. When it dug deeper into the dust and gas surrounding the comet, it uncovered something far more jarring. The spectral fingerprints suggested a type of metal separation that defied stellar chemistry. It was time to question the very building blocks of this object. For centuries, comets have been defined by their water content. As they approach the sun, solar radiation heats up their icy cores, causing water ice to sublimate into gas. This process creates the glowing coma and tail that humans have observed since antiquity. But with 3AI Atlas, that script unraveled. The quantum AI analysis revealed a CO2 to H2O ratio of 8.1, the highest ever recorded for any comet, interstellar or otherwise. In most solar comets, water is the dominant volatile, with carbon dioxide appearing only in smaller quantities. This anomaly raised urgent questions. How could an object lose more CO2 than H2O unless it was forged under drastically different conditions? Scientists proposed several hypotheses. First, 3AI Atlas may have originated near a carbon-rich red dwarf where frozen carbon dioxide is more prevalent. Second, a thick, dusty crust could be trapping sublimating water beneath the surface while allowing CO2 to escape. Third, it could be the result of millions of years of exposure to cosmic rays, selectively altering the surface chemistry of the object. What made this especially puzzling is that CO2 sublimates at lower temperatures than water. This means it should evaporate earlier, at greater distances from the sun. But the emissions profile didn't just show early CO2 activity, it showed sustained dominance as the object passed the 2 AU mark, a region where water should start to emerge. The CO2 persisted, even as water emissions remained curiously low. According to classical models, that should not happen. Yet it did. The CO2 anomaly didn't just challenge expectations, it redefined them. A comet with this chemistry suggests a planetary system with different snow lines, radiation pressure, and stellar output. That's more than exotic. It's evolutionary. It hints that 3AI may be a relic from a solar nursery utterly unlike our own, shaped by forces, stars and physics that challenge what we know. And the deeper Sycamore looked, the stranger things became. Nickel and iron are cosmic companions, born in the same nuclear reactions inside supernovae. These metals usually travel together, forming alloys in meteorites, planetary cores and cometary dust. But in October 2025, as JWST and Sycamore continued analyzing 3AI, they found something that defied this rule. Spectral lines around 7.5 to 10 microns clearly showed the absorption signature of nickel. But iron lines were nearly absent. This wasn't a faint mismatch. It was a glaring absence in the data. This result stunned astrophysicists. Iron and nickel form under the same thermodynamic conditions in nearly identical stellar zones. Every known comet, including 2I Borisov, and one eye Umwamwa contains both in trace amounts. In fact, iron is usually the more prominent of the two. To detect nickel without iron in a dust plume meant that 3AI Atlas either formed in a chemically segregated environment or had undergone processing that stripped iron away post-formation. Both possibilities were extraordinary. Several theories emerged. Some suggested 3AI may have formed in the outer regions of a metal-poor planetary system where differential 
condensation caused nickel to solidify without iron. Others proposed a more radical idea. Perhaps the comet had been exposed to intense stellar flares or cosmic radiation that selectively eroded iron. But even these didn't fully explain the data. Iron is more abundant than nickel, by almost 20 to 1 in most stellar disks. Its complete absence couldn't be brushed off as coincidence. Sycamore ran over 35,000 simulations to account for the metal separation. None could 